Welcome to this video tutorial for Mercury MR50 and MR52 integration into Genetex Security Center. In this integration tutorial you will learn how to wire, configure and enroll the MR panels. The MR50 is a single reader sub-panel with two inputs and two outputs. It communicates with the Intelligent Mercury EP panels through the RS485 port. It is powered using the voltage in and ground relays. The MR52 is a two reader sub panel with eight normal inputs, two inputs for tamper and power failure, and six outputs. The MR52 communicates with the intelligent Mercury EP panel through the RS485 port using the TR, TR, and ground. It is powered through the voltage in and ground relays. The MR50 and MR52 can connect to all Genetex supported Mercury EP panels, the EP1501, EP1502, EP2500 and EP4502. In these diagrams we demonstrate how the MR panels are daisy chain connecting to the EP controller using the RS485 bus. You can have a mix of both MR50 and MR52 subpanels on the same bus channel. When using an EP1501 there is a slight difference. When downstreaming subpanels from an EP1501, since there is no RS485 on the EP1501, you have to use the reader TB2 port where the clock becomes TR+, the data becomes TR-, and ground is the ground. When you do this, the EP1501 can only support one reader. All Mercury subpanels like the MR50 and MR52 must have a unique physical address when connected to the same RS485 bus. On the MR50, the addressing is done on the J2 jumpers. Jumper 8 has to be open for normal operation. Jumper 6 and 7 are for the baud rate. Both 6 and 7 have to be jumped to match the Genetech default settings. Jumpers 1 through 5 are used to address the panel. J1 is 1 bit, J2 is 2 bits, J3 is 4 bits, J4 is 8 bits, and J5 is 16 bits. So in our case, if we wanted the MR50 to be addressed 5, we would jump 1 and 3, because 1 is 1 bit and 3 is 4 bits, totaling 5 bits. The MR52 addressing is done from the dip switches located on the panel. Dip switch 8 has to be in the off position for normal operation. Dip switches 6 and 7 are used for the baud rate. Default genetic baud rate is 38,400, so both dip switches have to be in the on position. Dip switches 1 through 5 are used for the addressing. S1 is 1 bit, S2 is 2 bits, S3 is 4 bits, S4 is 8 bits, and S5 is 16 bits. So if we wanted our MR52 board to be address 0, we would leave all dip switches from 1 to 5 in the off position. If we wanted address 24, we would need to turn S4 and S5 on, because S4 is 8 bits and S5 is 16 bits, which totals 24. I will now demonstrate how to add an MR50 and MR52 in Security Center. For this process, config tool will be required. We already have an EP1502 controller added to our Synergis Cloud Link. The MR50 connects to the EP1502 through the RS485, and then it daisy chains to the MR52 panel through the same bus. MR50 is address 0 and the MR52 is addressed 1.
We begin by either double clicking on the Mercury EP1502 or by clicking the edit button while the EP1502 is selected. We then click add an item. Our first panel that we want to add is the MR50 which is on address 0. We click OK. We click add an item again and now select MR52 from the drop down menu and switch the address to 1 since our MR52 is addressed 1. We hit OK twice and then apply. By expanding the EP1502 we can check the status of the MR panels being added. It should say pending addition for both of them. The EP1502 will temporarily drop offline while configuration changes are made. Once everything comes back online the hardware will be ready to be added on the doors. So this concludes this video tutorial, please stay tuned for more, thank you.